Hey, it's me. Don't mind the hairdo. It's uh, 3.50 in the morning. I got my regimen here. And what I have in there real quick is a uh, banana, cut up uh, oranges. Uh, that's oatmeal with brown sugar. Mm, a lot of brown sugar. And, uh, cause that's okay. And then, uh, it uh, digests differently. And then I got whole milk. But, you know, I'm disgusted in something. You know, everybody's on Trump. Nobody's on Biden. And he's got a lot to be on about. But I'm going to say something. I'm disgusted in Trump because he didn't do executive order on the stimulus. You know, he, he took it upon himself that. And, and if he doesn't make it, well, you know what? He he got what he uh, he got what he what he got, you know because you know he was more in, he was more interested. We got to say that he was more. I'm because I'm consistent. He's more interested in getting the election than he was doing the executive order. It just looked that way, and people are hurting really bad, you know. Not people who have pension and social security, but the thing is, Biden. He, he's really no better because he tells a guy at a, at a rally, if you don't believe what I'm telling you, that I come from a chain state, well, we'll just put you back in chains. Well, when he says those things, that's quite all right, it seems like. Or when he says, well, you, you give me a chance. You folks got to understand. Folks? Where does that come from? That comes from the South. That's racist. And you know, the, and and the black people don't even don't they they don't even trust that guy, they don't, they don't, and of course he doesn't wake up uh, the Aryan Brotherhood and the Ku Klux Klan and the Weathermen, and so on and so on and so on. He doesn't wake those kind of people up, but he's still he's still racist in a racist form. But nobody says anything about that. That seems to be quite all right. I don't understand it. Where, where is the dividing line in that? I thought all I thought all the racism was bad. Evidently, it's not it's not bad here, you know. I mean, my God, I heard him say things that that should have been denounced a long time ago, but they seem to like his popularity because ah, we'll put you back in chains. He come from a slave state. You know, and he talks about it and he, he doesn't make no bones about it. He doesn't say, well, that was a bad time, but he does say that was part of his heritage and history. But it seems to be quite all right. Think about that. It's got to be better than Trump. You know, and he talks about the Chinese virus. He don't even say it. Why? Because he's in bed with them. Don't you understand that? He's in bed with them. They're hoping that he becomes president. They're chopping at the bit, and so does so does the uh, the terrorists and all them, because they can mold him. Well, guess what, though? The gray-haired guy, Mitch McConnell, you know, you remember him? He's going to stop everything that he tries to undo that uh, President Trump did. Oh, yeah, he's already talking it. He's going to do it. And one of them is Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, she's racist too. Look what she's done with San Francisco. All those homeless people over there. She hasn't even put a dime on that. But she's trying to get rid of Trump in the worst way. Well, she's going to wind up getting rid of herself. But I just got to say that, just keep in mind, he's just as, old Biden is just as racist as Donald Trump. The only thing is, he isn't out there exploiting it. That's right. He's just as racist. Oh, give me a chance, you folks. You know, where does that come from? Folks? No, uh, I, I don't even say that myself. And I'm not racist, but the thing is, I do have likes and dislikes. And I'm sure glad I do. But I am, I, I, I am... Um, the uh, type of guy that I know what's up and I know what's down. So at least I'm, you know, I say that word so much. But anyway, I lost my train of thought with that. 
because it's it's senseless, you know. But anyhow, I just want people to know that, that he's just as racist as Donald Trump. You watch. Give it time. Yeah. Now, Obama was good with the working people. Yeah. He was also good with the food stamps and, and the welfare. Yeah, he was good with that, too. You know? But they were racist on him because I seen the thing with the, with the White House. And if you watched it long enough, the green grass turned into a row of watermelons. Now, that was racist. Yeah. They kept him from doing a lot of things. Mitch McConnell and all them. That's the old Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, that's those guys. So anyway, you're going to find that the, that, that, that uh, Mitch McConnell and all those guys, the Republicans, are going to get along. You're going to find that out. Yeah, you're going to find that out. So anyway, I just had to say that. Thank you so much. Bye.